Wesley Owen Chernowski was not what most would have called a great man. Some might argue he wasn't even a good man sometimes. Wes was the kind of guy you either greatly loved or hated with a passion. Most people loved him, but there was absolutely no one who was indifferent. In his 28 years, he made an impression on everyone he met. I was lucky to know him for seven of those years, and in that short time, he changed me and my life forever and gave me the greatest gift anyone could give another, our daughter, Grace Catherine Charnowski. Wes was born six months before me in October of 1976 and was originally from Anderson, also known as Acom. He blew from one place in his life to another like a strong wind, and he didn't bring anything with him other than a laundry basket full of clothes, some quilts handmade by Grandma Lou, his favorite person in the whole world for most of his life, and his golf clubs, which were all of his worldly possessions. I remember the first day I saw him at Yogi's, where I worked and where he was just starting. It was 1998 and he had a navy blue Modest Mouse t-shirt with a white drawing graphic on it. I had not yet heard of my Modest Mouse, but to this day it is still one of my favorite bands. Wes liked indie rock and he had a great taste in music. He was a die-hard Red Sox fan for life and he lived every day to the fullest. From the time we first met, we had a connection that was indescribable. Our first date lasted for two days, and until the day he died, we never ran out of things to talk about. We not only finished each other's sentences, he knew what I was thinking and feeling many times before I could even comprehend it myself, much less explain it to someone else. We were usually in our own little world, crazy and crazy for each other. Once a friend said to us, you guys are really gonna hate it when they separate you at the mental institution. <laughs> Four years after meeting, in 2002, our daughter Grace was born. She was the light of his life. However, because love is not like the movies and is not always enough, our road was not easy. <clears throat> it was filled with ups and downs, ons and offs. Sometimes, and inevitably, a strong wind becomes a tornado. When Grace came into the world, we were off. But then seven months later, we were married. And then we weren't married. And then we dated, and then we didn't date a few times. Through it all, though, no matter what, I always knew that he loved Grace and I more than he could love anyone, even himself. Even if we couldn't be together, he always got me. He was my absolute best friend. He was my person. He left us on February 16, 2005, unexpectedly when he went to sleep and simply did not wake up. We could offer no explanation or reason. A hole formed in my heart that day, and although time has made it smaller, the hole will always exist. Even though I believe people can have love again, and I found a wonderful husband, to this day, I've never met, met a person like Wes, or someone who has known me like he did. A person who knows every single terrible thing I've ever done or thought, and who still loves me anyway. He did leave me with the greatest thing that has ever happened to either one of us, our daughter. We loved her deeply in the short time we knew her. She's a wonderful, warm, and caring young woman, and even though she was less than three when he passed, and she will be a senior in high school this year, she still carries him with her every day and looks out through his sparkling blue eyes at her bright future. I know that he lives on in her and that he would be so proud of who she is and who she will be. Proud of both of us. I still think of you and miss you every day. <laughs> 